Okay, I hate to say it, guys, but I kind of lied the last video. Now that we have that high of a speech skill, there's a little bit more we can do in Freeside, and I kind of want to get as much of it done as possible so we don't have to do any backtracking. Now, in terms of the quest for the Kings, I am most likely not going to do that because it requires you to piss off the NCR. Now, yes, you get forgiven for all your crimes as soon as you leave the tops, but I still don't want to piss Boone off. I mean, I just don't want to take any sort of risk whatsoever. For all I know, the game might glitch out and not work right, for all I know. So I'm just not going to do that quest, most likely, because it's not really all that helpful anyway. The reward, you can get one of three rewards from it. It's called GI Blues. So its three rewards are as follows. You can either take his pet dog as a follower, who is far weaker than Eddie, and then you have to go, like, get him fixed up in Jacobstown, so that's useless. Then, you could also, you could request a thousand caps from him, or you can request a fake passport to get onto the strip for free. Now, once again, you can get onto the strip as long as you have two thousand caps in your inventory. You don't actually have to give them the money, they'll give it right back to you. It's just a credit check. So really, it doesn't actually matter all that much. Uh, helping them out, really. It's really just more for some XP and free side reputation as well, of course. But actually, for free side reputation, if you just want to make it go faster, you can pay James Garrett, and he will bump up your uh, your reputation free side, obviously, for a price, like I just said, but he will, if you wish to do that. So, we'll work on that as soon as we get on there. Uh, get on there, wow. Okay, as soon as we get onto the strip. So what we want to do now is head around here, and I remember the last episode we killed those little uh, guys, those smuggler, whatever they're called, squatters, I don't even know. Oh look, there's a dead freeside bug, cool. Okay, let's talk to them. Okay, that did not help at all. Uh, let's see, that guy over there is a drug dealer. If you want to talk to him, feel free to, but he's not who we're after. Actually, we may have to for this quest. Julie Farkas says you could use some help. Julie's a saint, but I don't need help. <laughs> you look pretty bad. No. Who's supplying you? If I had two caps to scrape together, I'd buy the materials to make my own. My this guy named Dixon. Something about him seems sketchy, but I can't stop... At this point, I'm mostly buying his stuff just so I don't feel sick. Speak. Okay, so that's our problem. We need to take care of Mr. Drug Dealer over here. Looking for a fix, Matt? Yeah, man. Those cats are out of their domes, a dick. Ah, uh, you need to stop. Really? You know what? I... So the NCR is supplying you with cheap cams to keep Freeside down? Wait, man. You can't go around saying shit like... Okay, I get your point. All right, very nice. So he's no longer going to sell stuff to them. And now let's go talk to him. Say so you're back. I took care of the dealer, so you can what? clean up. Fine. I'm going to need to leave. Uh, instead, we're going to use speech to talk him I out. I think you're right. I've been through worse. All right, that's one guy fixed. Some XP gained as well. But now we have a second one to go fix, and I don't actually remember where the second guy is. He's somewhere else in Freeside, but we're going to go ahead and find him now. Actually, I believe he might be. We might have to go like we're going back in that direction. Unfortunately, so it's a lot of sort of, like I said, some backtracking and stuff. Yep, this is it. But I just want to make sure we get most of this stuff, o stuff over with now so we don't have to deal with it later and we don't have to backtrack as much. It would just make more sense to me to do it that way. Ah, another loading screen. So many loading screen. All right, let's see. Yep, I remember where he is now. Yeah, Freeside is actually kind of tough to navigate your first time around. It's kind of confusing. 
And actually, we may be able to work with the Silver Rush soon, just because they actually give some pretty good rewards and stuff, and they're somewhat of an NCR ally. Like, they're against the Legion, so they're somewhat helpful. Audio glitch. Uh, Bill, Julie, and the rest of your friends miss you. They need your help. Yay, XP, as the audio stays glitched out. That's perfect. The tables are not more friendly. You made me lose 500 or 600, I don't know how many caps at one point in time. And then I had to reset because I played so badly. So anyway, now that we've done that, uh, let's see if this thing is going to load this time. Oh, my doggy is barking downstairs. I can hear him bark. He must not be happy about something, even though I let him out to pee half an hour ago. I don't know if you guys can hear him or not. I love my puppy. Well, technically he's not a puppy. He's seven years old almost, actually, but he still acts like he's one year old or less, which is kind of funny. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's him, and then we've just got a new puppy pretty recently after, uh, Norm died, and it's another Black Lab, but that dog, he's very laid back and very, very smart, but he's got that little puppy face and puppy look, everybody loves him, except for Ty, Ty's my big dog right now, my main dog, the one that's seven years old, he doesn't like him, he does it's not that he doesn't like him, he doesn't like us sharing our attention with him. Which is kind of funny, because like if he sees me uh, scratching and rubbing on the uh, little puppy, he starts like whining and stuff because he doesn't like it. It's kind of interesting, actually. Hey, good to see Yep, uh, let's see. Can we please just finish this conversation now? I think I found someone who will be able to cover your supplies. Excellent. They supply Freeside with drug. Upgrading their stills would increase their supply of lip... Uh, with... You get your cams and can help anyone who gets addicted. True, we could help addicts, but the su They just need tech support and raw materials. Good point. We wouldn't be paying anything for their supplies, just a portion of our food waste to make... We get food from nearby wasteland farmers in exchange for medical services, so we could put... Tell the Garrets we'll keep their stills running if they provide us with... All right, sounds good. And I helped with the addiction problem. I saw them. Thank you so... If you need some medical supplies, come see me. With Jacob working with us, we should be able to spare a stim or fix... Which is a really, really good thing to have. I mean, that's free medical supplies once a day, or sure. every 24 Would hours. Like so we're going to take a stim pack this time, but this is the best way in the game to get Rataway, because like I've said, Rataway is pretty rare in this game. So really, uh, yeah, not a bad idea. So accepted by Freeside, that's good. Very good. Uh, let's see what we can do now. Uh, let's see, we need to do that. I'm just looking around to see what else we might be able to do. Uh, Alright, so with that, next time... Yeah, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm not going to screw you over like that. We're headed to the strip right now, boys and girls. Let's do it. Oh, man, it's almost night as well. That is perfect freaking timing because it's dusk right now. So that is like perfect timing. We get to go on the strip at night. Yeah, baby. Let's do it. Yep, it's dusk in the game right now. Perfect timing to head onto the strip. Club. The. I don't know. You guys behind me? You two ready to go onto the strip as well? I bet you two have never been here. Eddie, maybe we can find you a nice sex Ellie. Because <laughs> that sounds close to Eddie, so we find you a sex Ellie. I don't know. A sex bot named Ellie. I don't know. Oh, God. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Well, then again, because we have someone with that, with that name in our school, and she's, like, really, really pretty. Maybe that wasn't my best comment. Oh, well, I don't... Not many people from my school watch my videos, so... Okay, well, how about we say it's based off of the girl from The Last of Us? Well, then again, she's like 14, so that's kind of creepy. 
I'm just going to shut up now before I really get myself backed into a corner that I can't get out of. And I have no idea where my followers have gotten off to. There they are. Yeah, they're taking a long time to load. Ah, perfect timing. Let's see what time it is actually in the game. Ooh, 7.30, perfect timing. I think the strip will get lit up by about 8.30. So very well timed, actually. So actually, once you have a high enough uh, reputation in Freeside, they will, the kings will go around and usually give you some free stuff. Not much, but just a little token of their appreciation, especially if you do that GI Blues quest. So now, we need to go up and talk to this guy. Submit to a credit check. What present? I'll submit to the credit check. Uh, if you have a science of 80, you can get by without anything, but there's no point, there's no way you're gonna have a science of 80 before you head on to here, unless it's the only thing you raise. Thank you, man. But you don't lose any of the caps, which is what matters. This guy was some poor sucker that tried to run past, they got shot, and his gear is not worth taking. So, let's enter the strip. It's a good thing I've got the music turned off, because you'd be hearing plenty of music on the liveliness of the strip. Except the medicine skill doesn't only affect Radax and Radaway, luckily. That would be stupid. So yeah, normally you'd be hearing lots of music and stuff going on on the strip, which is pretty cool. Quest added. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. I thought it was ring-a-ding-dong. Oh well. Uh, actually, let me go ahead and equip a better weapon real quick, if the game does not freeze. Uh, let me see what would be better to equip. Game, don't freeze on me now. Ah, great. It's gonna freeze. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Ah, uh, what shall I take? Let's see. That's doing a damage of 19, 15, and uh, 11. Okay, game, you can stop lagging any day now. So what we want to do now is go over to Caleb McCaffrey. Huh, so the Garrus sent you to track me down. Yep. Uh, I'm here to collect McCaffrey. I'd yeah, like I'm really, really, really afraid of you. Oh, no. Yeah, I just killed you in two hits, dude. Howdy, partner. You've come for a piece, have you? Yeah, I sure have. This place looks amazing. The place to get started is not... That's where you find Mr. House. All right, I'll go there eventually. The house always wins, part one. So we're going to take everything he's got. His duster is worth a few caps. You need his hat. And we'll take his caravan shotgun just for good measure. So we'll go uh, give that back next time that we go to Freeside, just because we'll have to be there eventually. So let's head into the Lucky 38 first. Uh, we don't need to head in here because we're not working with Mr. House, but I want to grab 4,000 caps. Uh, you two are just going to have to wait out here. I'm very sorry. But yeah, you're going to have to, or this will get us, you know, 4,000, actually 6,000 caps real quickly. Because eventually we won't be able to really trade with Mr. House anymore, so we might as well go ahead and get this over with now while we can. But actually, before we head up there, I want to search around out here because there is a lot of crap to find in here. Carton of cigarettes, pre-war money. Uh, nothing else there. Ooh, falling down it. Yeah, there's a ton of crap laying around in here. I'm gonna turn the flashlight on so hopefully the video quality looks a little bit better. Because this is a relatively dark building. Lots and lots of stuff in here. Uh, open that door up. And nothing in any of those cabinets. Because, of course, the Lucky 38 hasn't been used since before the Great War. It was never, you know, open. It's where Mr. House lives, and he's the one that controls the strip, pretty much. Making him quite powerful, actually. Uh, bobby pin, pre-war money, old vacuum tube computers. I believe that's what's in them. I believe they're vacuum tube computers, from what I've read, because the transistor was never invented, so they ended up using vacuum tubes and, like, atomic stuff for everything. 
Lots of cigarettes. Pre-war money. It doesn't weigh anything. That's cool. Ooh, safes. What all is in here? Ooh, wow. That is a lot of stuff. Like I said, this place is loaded. Another one and some drugs. Cool. This would be a junkie's dream, man. Look at all this gear. Uh, let's see. Cash register. All right. More drugs and caps and bobby pins. Another gun. Wow. Now that's actually quite helpful. Rawhide cowboy hat. It just looks cool. So I'll take it. Useless. I thought there was a laser pistol around here. Maybe there's not. I don't know. But whatever. It's not like I really need it. So next up, we want to head up here and jump this thing. And as you can see, look at all this whiskey and sarsaparilla and nuka colas. If anything, if we're not going to use it to heal, we can at least use it to sell. Up here, golden gloves. That is a unique unarmed weapon. And a Boxing Times magazine for good measure. Uh, what else up here is of use? Don't need that. Or actually, we do need that because that's good for selling. Food. I uh, can't hack that terminal yet, so don't worry about that for now. I believe we'll actually be able to do something to it soon. Nothing there. Free war money. Yeah, in some of my, uh, in one of my files, my big Legion file, I've actually set these, uh, counters up to be, giant, like, little shooting ranges, shooting galleries. I thought that was kind of cool that I did that. And you guys have, like, seen my house before in some files, and it sounds like the sound glitched out again, so it's probably a good thing that I just need to record this video, so, uh, and then I can, you know, sort of stop. Well, then I can get everything fixed before the next video, I mean, because I think I know how to fix it. Uh, let's see, what all's up here? Uh, those large whiskey bottles aren't much. Ooh, vodka! Now, that is actually quite worth taking, because that's actually worth quite a bit of money. Uh, vodka, cigarettes, vodka, money, don't need an ashtray, but a beer might be worth a little something. Vodka again. Oh crap, I took some empty bottles. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll drop anything that isn't worth as much money, which includes the beers. The beers really aren't worth taking, because as I've said before, they're not worth a whole lot of money. That, that was weird. Uh, but I can do a little bit of repairing. Nice! A fully repaired 10mm pistol. That's not too bad. Can't wear that, like I said before. Uh, those things are kind of just cool looking, but they aren't worth as much. I'll need to get this leather armor fixed eventually, though. Uh, let's see. We don't need any of the beers, that's for sure. Or any of these. Ooh, look at all those cigarettes. Uh, I might actually take that later on, though, because we're kind of low on... Oh, wait, those are just miscellaneous? Oh, never mind, then. We don't need any of those. Because they aren't worth any money. They aren't even worth their weight, I don't believe. Okay, that's it. Uh, looks like that is everything in the Lucky 38 that is of any value, at least down here. So, guys, next time we will head up and meet Mr. House, even though we don't actually need to. But it is worth some money. So, see you guys then.